I'm going to uh, talk about the workflow for becoming a member in a group. Uh, we have so far only seen uh, basically at the administrative side of organic groups and uh, actually pretty often uh, uh, ordinary users, common people are using organic groups. So I'm going to show you how this uh, works with organic groups. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, configuration, organic groups and the uh, global permissions. There is one pretty important permission here, uh, here saying uh, subscribe user to uh, subscribe uh, to use no approval required. Yeah, okay. So uh, you could use this if you want to have uh, people uh, joining groups and becoming members right off. I think this is one. Uh, and you have some other uh, settings here as well, tell, um, telling you telling the site who's going to be able to approve and deny memberships and stuff like that. Right, uh, here we have another group and I have a post in, a, in another group. This uh, post I have here, I set the uh, visibility to it to, uh, on it to private so non-members cannot see it. If I switch browser, uh, here am I, I'm logged in as test user. Uh, Test user, if test user tries to view node number four here, he or she gets access denied. Now, a test user is pretty interested in this content, so he wants to uh, be a member of another group here. So it clicks another group and says, I want to be a member here, so he, requests, he or she requests membership. Uh, and we have the fields here from, from the previous screencast, and you can extend these as you want. Hello. Hello, I'd like to be a member. Join. All right. Now this user has created a group membership entity uh, and is uh, a pending member of this group because the test user isn't allowed to, to just join the group right off. Uh, the uh, node number four is still not uh, available because the, the membership is not yet approved. Going back to my Firefox browser, I can, as administrator, go into my other group, go to the Groups tab, and view the people here. Here I, we see the test user is pending. I can select and approve membership of the selected users. Ta -da! And now the test user is a member of the group, a full member of the group, and if I reload the page here, um, he or she can see the post. Cool. Um, so let's see here. You can also, as administrator, uh, block users. Uh, you can deny uh, pen pending uh, applications as well. Then they are blocked, I guess. They are not deleted. You can delete. No, nah, well, not, you can delete them, but not through this interface. Uh, and as shown previously, you can also add roles here. I didn't mention that in the previous screencast, but you can, of course, use rules uh, to, to uh, grant certain roles to, uh, to uh, certain membership types if you want to do that. We'll see that in another screencast. Um, okay, so uh, let's see uh, one or two more things before I start mentioning the Organic Group's register module, which is part of the OG project. Um, this test user decided that this test post is uh, this post is not very interesting. This group probably sucks, so he or she uh, decides to unsubscribe from the group and uh, confirms this. He can he or she can no longer read this node, and as we will see here, the membership entity is removed, is deleted, and uh, that's kind of it. Pretty straightforward. You can get a list. This is the built-in interface um, by default in organic groups. You can use views and stuff to do things with this, which uh, allows much more customization. For example, you could say here, let's, let's request membership again here. This doesn't say that you're a pending member right now, which, I mean, could be useful. Uh, so you could have a, a block in views or something saying that, uh, you're viewing this group, but your membership is not yet approved. Um, 
it was posted on this time and contains this information that you, you sent along with it, or something like that. Uh, it's of course possible. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, Organic Groups Register module. In Modules tab, Organic Groups, Organic Groups Register. Save. This module allows uh, people to apply for group membership when uh, uh, joining, well, when creating accounts on your Drupal site. Uh, to do this, you need also to add a field. This is, you're starting to get the, the uh, pattern here. Uh, a lot of the properties on groups are managed by fields. So if you go into configuration, organic groups, and field settings, we now have a new field here called group register. We could add that field to the group nodes used as groups right now in the example feature provided by OG. Adding that. And if I go in now to content types and take manage fields for my group here, we have this uh, group register field. Cool. Let's actually go back to the actual group here, another group, and edit that. Now we should have a new field that we can uh, uh, change here. Uh, we have a lot of them. Uh, I'm just setting these. Uh, excellent. And now this uh, new one, group register, we can select whether this group should be displayed or not on the registration page. So let's include this on the registration page. Save. Cool. And that means if I switch browser again and log out, I'm no longer in logged in as test user, I can create a new account. Huh, this is not displayed on the registration page. Hmm. 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 Either I'm uh, misinterpreting something here quite uh, much or. Uh, or this is a bug. In these cases, always try flushing the cache. Reloading. No, it's not here. Huh. Um, let's see if I have to change some uh, permissions. G. Organic. No. Okay, almost there. And dun, dun, dun. Let's try this one. No. Okay, I think some something's wrong here. The the same thing is that you you get something here that allows you to. Uh, uh, to join group or, or to, to create a membership application for groups that you have selected here. Hmm, very strange. Uh, final thing I want to uh, check before uh, moving on is the fields on the uh, user accounts. They're here. Hmm. 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 Okay, uh, let's edit this one and see. This does not make sense to show on the registration form, but let's try that. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, so, huh? Okay. Backing off to one, one, backing down to, to one or two steps. Uh, this group audience field on user accounts will then contain the groups you can uh, select or, or join. Let's try this actually. Test2, test2 at test.com. Uh, create account. Okay. So let's see if I have a new application membership for another group. People. Yes, I do. Okay. Huh. Okay, so this was not very intuitive. 
Uh, but the thing you have to do is number one, uh, add the group register field to your group uh, entity type. Number two, uh, go to uh, your group and edit it and make sure that this field has the value show on registration page. And then finally, make sure that the user accounts uh, on your site in configuration people, account settings, manage fields, group audience, the group audience field uh, should uh, be displayed on the use registration form. You can have something select any groups you want to apply uh, for which you want to apply uh, to become member. That's nice. And you can see here I as administrator, you can see all the groups. We'll have a look at that in, in later screencasts actually. Uh, oh, and you can even have uh, membership type selected here. That's pretty cool. That means you can have uh, a membership type that is on, on, on registration, site reg registration, if you want to. Never mind. Um, uh, um, and now this will be displayed when registering on the site in this field. And here's the help text as well. All right. Wow. Um, the cool thing about creating screencast is that you learn a heck of a lot yourself. Um, uh, teaching others is a great way to learn. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably the biggest lesson for today. Uh, if you want to learn Drupal more, uh, create your own screencast and uh, write documentation in the help pages on Drupal.org and answer questions on forums and stuff. Um, that's it for this screencast. In the next one, we're going to look at how to uh, uh, manage access for fields and stuff in inorganic groups. See you there. Bye.